What is up, Maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one. And today, the World Championship 2023 qualifiers is here. So, I don't necessarily feel like sweating, but I definitely do enjoy free gems. Uh, free, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to hop in, and I'm going to be showing you guys my first four games. And actually, I actually won my first four games, which I'm showing you on screen here. So, we're going to check those replays out. I was using the Eldritch deck. Honestly, this deck is super fun for me and doesn't necessarily have a lot of try hard feeling, so I enjoy it. And Shadow of a Prisoning Mirror is what I added. I used to have uh, Soul Drain, but it kind of screws up my own Eldritch. Somebody pointed that out. So I sought those out for Shadow of Prisoning Mirrors. It does help with a lot of things. So Basically, this deck was on screen. If you like to try it out, it works pretty well. A lot of the matches that I had were definitely sweat fest. They all felt super sweaty, like try hard. And I was just chilling, trying to get some free gems. But you're going to check it out. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help me reach my 2023 goal of 10,000 subscribers. And make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys are playing this for the free gems. And if you are, let me know what deck you're using in the comments below. But... Nonetheless, let's hop right into it. Alrighty, for our first match, we get to go first. And we have a pretty good hand here. So we're going to Pot of Extravagance straight away. And it gets Ash. Of course it gets Ash, because that is just my luck. They seem to have Ash every single time. But, oh well. We have a Pot of Prosperity. That'll do just fine all right let's gonna let's see what we can get here all righty we choose the shadow prison mirror because we don't know what we're going up against so we're expecting to be going up against tier lamans anything like that of course oh fairy tale snow okay we're gonna elixir here get our eldritch on the board and nothing okay they cancel their attack we're gonna conquistador pop those fairy tale snow of course, I try to pop the back row, just being honest, and I forget that the Conquistador is only face up, so read your cards, but we all know real Yu-Gi-Oh players don't read, so I'm going to attack Wabaku. That's an old school car. Okay, very interesting. We're just going to pass turn and see what our opponent has for us. Ooh, interrupted Kaiju Slumber, so okay, very interesting. Enter battle, I take 300. But now my Eldritch is on in the graveyard, so we definitely can make some plays. Okay, Cursed Elden. We are going to use Eldritch's effect here to special summon him. And then we're going to Conquistador. Pop his Kaiju. We're going to Cursed Eldlin here. Get another Eldritch to the hand and just enter attack. Come on, that's your battle. Let's attack. First, the fairy tale snow comes out. We are going to imperm because, to be honest, I don't remember what a uh, fairy tale snow does, but I'm pretty sure Eldritch wasn't targetable, so that might have been a waste. But hey, I mean, not targetable, but unaffected. Either way, we get to destroy that snow, and we hit him for the 500. We're going to elixir here. Special summon our other Eldritch and attack him. Alright, unfortunately, the Elixir of White Destiny kind of got us stuck to only summoning zombies. So we would have exceeded and dealt some more damage, but either way, Ooh, we get Lava Golem. Very interesting, but not too bad, to be honest. We're going to hold that with the Lava Golem. I'm going to get our Eldritch. Use the Eldritch to pop the back row, and he surrenders, because literally I was about to do that, especially on another one, and attack him for game. So, let's hop right in to the next match. And for our second match, we're going first yet again. We have a pretty good hand, and we also have an Eldritch in hand, so we're just going to place our four and pass turn. Alright, let's see what our opponent has. Magician's Soul. Okay, he's going to start with Dark Magician. We're going to activate there could be only one. Okay, 
Magician Soul. Special Summon is the Dark Magician. And the Dark Magic Attack. Are you kidding me? I actually screwed that up so bad. It was supposed to go backwards, but hey. So some is that, and uh, yeah, I screwed that up because there could be only one. I literally needed the Eldritch first, but your boy's a bot. It's all good. Get Dark Magician Girl, and we're gonna take some damage. Okay, this game is not starting off good, but with Eldritch, it only takes one card, and that's the card we need it right there. All right, we're gonna Eldlixer, get ourselves a Joaquero. Use Eldritch's effect. Pop Salvation. Use Eldritch's effect in the graveyard to special summon him. Alright, we're chilling. Dark Burning Magic. Uh, no. That does not work. So we attack his Dark Magician. And Eternal Souls. Okay. We're going to special summon Dark Magician, but we're also going to use Wakero's effect in the graveyard, so we have some stuff to special summon for sure. It's a Dark Magician yet again. That Dark Magician comes out so many times because that's stupid Eternal Soul. And I always remember, try to get rid of it. Okay. Defense mode. Okay, we're going to help. Ash! They always have the stupid Ash. I swear, man. You're freaking kidding me. Okay, so we're not going to special summon anything, but we're going to get draw a card. Shadow of Prison Mirror. Not very impressive right now. I don't think it'll help us too much in this match. So we're just going to get that Dark Magician back into the graveyard because he's just going to special summon it again. Quite awesome. Okay. Okay, we're going to get the Conquistador. Pop that eternal soul. Yep. Gets bopped. And he still has another one. Are you kidding me? That is annoying. Okay. We basically crash and DBZ style both get destroyed. But we still have the Eldritch. Come on. Let's get it. Called by the grave. Are you kidding me? Okay. We have the Elixir of Wide Destiny. That really comes in super clutch here. Because we're going to be able to special summon it before they banish it. Get your stinky finger out of here. It's not going to affect me today. Alright. We're just going to attack. But of course it gets a stupid Dark Magician. Okay. We're going to crash it. Yeah. Why not? Crash it again. It's all good. You just going to keep the door's effect in the graveyard. Get an Eldixir. And then we are going to pass the turn. Okay, he has a Magician's Soul. Then they special summon it again. But we do have the Elflixer. So, we are going to put it in defense mode. He's going to hold that 300. Then he's actually going to uh, exceed this away. The big number two big eye. Number 11, what the heck? Number two, I see two ones, and I'm like, okay, add those bad boys up. I'm a bot. Okay, we're going to Pot of Extravagance, of course. So, when we Pot of Extravagance, we can definitely get the Elixir and banish it. Okay, we're going to get the Guardian and basically activate the effect. Pop that Eternal Souls. Get the Elixir. Get the Hakero. Activate Eldritch's effect here. Special summon the Senor Eldritch. Now we're going to enter battle. Come on. Alrighty. Basically, I feel like I have game here. Let's see what our opponent has. Magician's Salvation. And they get another freaking Eternal Soul. Are you freaking kidding me? What the hell is going on with this? Okay. We get the turn change. They are going to be using nothing because we're gonna get our Eldritch's effect here special summon that and we're just gonna enter battle eternal souls what a surprise 
we are gonna go ahead and get the Dark Magician Girl and banish it. Because that's what they were wanting to special summon. We're gonna Guardian of the Golden Land. And I forget that it's not effective, but it doesn't matter. We still have game. That one took way longer than what I was hoping, but it is what it is. Like I said, all these matches were pretty sweaty, to be honest. So let's hop right in to the next match. Alrighty, for our third match, we actually have to go second. So we're going to hope and pray that they don't destroy us. OTK. That's me, theater. Very interesting. Very interesting here. Okay, so they have Despia. We're definitely going to hold the Ash in hand because we know what they're trying to do. Shadal Dragon. They're going to flip it, but before they flip it and destroy it, I mean, or send it back to my hand, and we're going to activate it and get ourselves E alternate art Elplich. And we get Kaiju. What a twist. Okay, we keep getting Kaiju. Thing. Okay, Pot of Prosperity. Let's see what we can get. We definitely need something to special summon. The Eldritch will work just fine. We're going to go ahead and use uh, Eldixir in the graveyard, banishing it. Get the Conquistador. Use Eldritch's effect. Get that into the graveyard. They draw. It's fine. We're going to go ahead. Special summon. And we're going to walk out here. And honestly, I thought I had game. But then I forgot the stupid prosperity. Cut my freaking attack in half. I was like, are you kidding me, dude? You freaking kidding me? I literally forgot, but that's all good. We're going to super dreadnought here. Activate effect. It only takes a thousand because of the stupid pot of charm. Literally, I would have had game. But whatever. We screwed up because, again, I'm a bot. So. We're going to get the elixir here, and we're just going to wait and see what our opponent has, because honestly, we have dash, so we're not super scared. We're going to activate Conquistador, and then elixir. This time I did it in the right order. Get our Eldritch on the board. Get the Conquistador. Pop that bad boy. And now you get nothing. Alright, let's go ahead and wait for our turn. We got a double ash now, so we're chilling. We're gonna use Eldritch's effect in the graveyard. And then special summon him. And again, another misplay. I use Super Dreadnought. His effect to attack, and I can only attack with that, so I kinda screwed up. I had game right there. But again, make mistake. Get the Scarlet Sanguine, and now we wait and see what our opponent has. Dark Ruler no more. Okay, very interesting. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not going to let the Tealament's crap start now. We've let it go on for seven uh, turns. We're not going to start. So, let's go ahead and negate that. And they have anything, so we're chilling. We're going to Elixir here. And we're going to summon ourselves another Eldritch. And the white destiny we're gonna get the conquistador we're just gonna enter battle and attack him to the face ggs honestly if i didn't mess up the game would have ended sooner but it is what it is so let's hop right in to the last match and for our last match we get to go first yet again and we have a pretty good hand here so we're just gonna set everything and pass so Slipknot, Senor Slipknot here, is playing card destruction. Very interesting. Okay, okay. We're going to summon limit here. Looks like they're going to be playing Blue Eyes. Okay, Blue Eyes, Abyss, Dragon. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get the Guardian so we can set the Conquistador. I don't necessarily know why I did that. Actually, I know why I did that. Because I don't want to take any damage. Oh, the mimicking bug. That actually kind of screws me up. And honestly, I should have done this first. But, you know, I'm dumb. So it's all good. Alright, we'll get rid of those. And we just try to hold on to our life points. We're going to be able to banish to get our Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine. Oh, the Harpies? Okay. 
Let's go ahead and use a Harpy's Feather Duster. What is back there? Okay, Regeki. That is actually pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, push some of the Eldritch. And it does not destroy that man eater bug. Why? Because it can't be destroyed by zombies. And I didn't know that until afterwards when I did something that real Yu Gi Oh players don't do. As I read the card. Amazing what happens. But we got some cards in the back row. And we're chilling now. So for now, I feel like we're pretty alright. But we're going to go ahead and solve judging that because I don't know what it does. And then I feel like reading again. I already did my reading for the. For the game when I read Man Eater, mimicking Man Eater bugs, so we pass turn. All right, get the Conquistador. Hmm, okay, very interesting. Get the Blue Eyes of this Dragon back. Okay, let's see what we can do. We're gonna Elixir here, get another Eldritch. We're just gonna enter battle. Attack him. And we attack him again because we're just testing. I think this is actually where I read it, but whatever. Okay, they have nothing. So that's a very good thing. Guarding the gold then. Okay. Okie dokie. We are gonna go ahead and exceed into the Sky Palace. Activate effect, let's pop that. Then they hold a thousand. We're gonna use Elbitch's effect. Get it on the board. And we're gonna enter battle. Honestly, I could have won. But I messed up. It's all good. We're gonna flip anti spell fragrance straight away because we don't want any spell shenanigans. We're gonna conquistador because I forgot. It has to be face up. I wanted to get rid of the back row. But it's all good. We're going to detach. Pop that. And hit him for another thousand. Because we didn't want to attack. And we didn't know what it was. So we are just being cautious. So those were my first four games in this event. Let me know what you guys think of the event so far. I think for free gems it will probably work out. I'm still at the low. I think level eight. So it's still pretty easy for me. But if you guys are new to the channel and are not subscribed. Please do. It really helps out the channel a lot. Help me reach my 2023 goal of 10,000 subscribers. But I'll catch everybody on the next one. Peace.